Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Deadlinger, and welcome to Build Alpha 13. Um, holy crap, the list of this update is ridiculously huge. Like, I'm gonna have a lot of just walking forward while reading a list to you, because... Uh, d d God freaking damn. Uh, okay, well basically I'm just gonna get this one out of the way, there's dedicated servers. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that one much because it's too technical and yeah, whatever. If you care about dedicated servers, and it's there, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's always a good thing. Oh, also something I noticed in the top right corner, you can see the location you're in. It's pretty damn cool, I mean... I don't know, I guess they have randomized names that are generated with the world when it's generated. I'm not entirely sure with the way it works, but... Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well, until I finally find a city, I guess I can read this huge-ass list of zombie changes to you, because it's pretty cool. Um, okay, well, large zombie hordes now roam the world. Mm-hmm. There's more, uh, satisfying animations when knocking back zombies. We'll test that out later. It depends on where you hit them from, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, zombies are less alert now. Um, you can sneak up on them, basically. And you get, you do double damage as well if you attack them from behind. It's called assassination. And, oh, Jesus Christ, the world's loading. Oh, <laughs> upside down text, nice. Um, also, uh, zombies now have eating corpse animations, and while they're eating the corpses, they, their line of sight is reduced, and they also can't hear as well. I guess because of all the crunching, fleshing sounds. Flesh sounds. But yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. So, stealth is finally making its way into the game properly. Floating tree. Also, zombies now have a small chance to drop loot. Oh, also, speaking of loot, um, if you die, then you lose all of your stuff. And you used to be able to respawn with your stuff, but... Uh, that's the right now the default difficulty that they want is you have to go run back to your corpse which is marked by a waypoint a skull waypoint on the on the map and you have to get your loot back basically like many other survival games um, right now that's the default difficulty but later on they will implement more where you actually have a choice of what you want so you know you you either respawn with your stuff or you have to go get it or maybe you just can't get it at all stuff like that also, Santa zombie has been removed. Oh no. But they replaced him, I'm assuming, with a fat zombie. And he does more damage to barricades and doors and such, so... Look out for the fatties. Holy shit, finally a town. Oh man. The sound is really ambi ambiency here. And also, I'm pretty sure they redesigned the inventory. It has like a darker look or something. Ah, holy shit, I completely forgot how to play. Oh no, the flashlight doesn't have the smiley face anymore. Also, the hand icon. Oh, this house is completely empty. The hand icon on the doors, um, they've, they've changed it. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but there you go, they changed it. Yeah, this house has absolutely nothing. Shutters, can you fucking. There you go. <laughs> ah, oh, shit. I completely forgot that smashing windows is bad for you. Okay, so that house was completely useless. By the way, there was. Um, a new weapon and new new weapons and new clothes added to the game. I don't really want to show you the new weapon just yet. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's a shield. Um, and I'll try to find it and show you guys what it, how it works because it sounds pretty cool. Ooh, a knife. Oh yeah, also in the bottom left corner now it tells you when you pick stuff up. So that's pretty cool. And uh, pushing and pulling has now been reworked. There are many systems that have been reworked. Um, like pushing and pulling and gun aiming and recoil. Uh, I'm not going to talk about those though because they're technical and boring, but you know, if you want the full list of updates then check out the description, as always. Oh, what's this? Riot shirt. Okay, so cool, this is one of the new items. Oh, speaking of new shit, um, <laughs> that's what this entire video is about. As you can see it says condition excellent. Um, basically now they've properly implemented uh, conditions and durability basically to items. Um, so this thing is, I'm assuming, fully uh, repaired or whatever, and they're gonna implement uh, repair systems in the future, so you can fix stuff up if it's broken. Yay! Oh, weapon! Have I used this before? I'm pretty sure he's not holding it right, but that's never mind. I'll forgive that. Okay, so I've purposefully killed myself for two reasons. Number one, I'm trying to find the new stuff that they've put in the update, and I was just in the middle of nowhere. There were no houses. Hey, look at all these damn houses. This place is way better. And I was trying to show you this waypoint right here. As you can see, it's the skull waypoint. And that's where my corpse is holding all my precious loot. Um, 
They said they're gonna replace that. I'm not sure how. Maybe the picture, or it's just gonna be a bit more intuitive. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's not permanent. No. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? A sweet same weapon. Is he headbutting nothing or the door? I'm just gonna awkwardly reload this and. Oh, man, what the fuck is he? I'm just gonna leave him. Whatever. Yes, here it is. What I've been waiting for. The first vehicle in Deadlinger. A bicycle. Oh man. <laughs> um, this is called the Bigfoot, by the way. Uh, there's multiple. They're going to add multiple bicycles, which uh, basically differ, obviously with stats and all that. But this one excels on the road, as in, on road terrain, it travels faster as a, as opposed to grass. Also, is that the fat zombies? Hey, fat new fat zombies. Uh, seriously, the only thing this bicycle is missing right now is uh, a bell. Ding. Okay, let's just travel past these uh, trees in the roads, you know. Oh, by the way, uh, this does actually use stamina. I mean, it makes sense, but in case you were wondering. But yes, this is the biggest thing in the update, for me at least. Uh, thank you for watching. Next update, hopefully we'll have a few more exciting things, but this was still pretty satisfying. I love you. Goodbye.